Well, hello, folks. Welcome back to another episode of Real Real Talk. I'm your host, Josh Bell, and we're taking a trip to the wild, wild west today with a classic western comedy that's been entertaining the audience for quite a while. So grab a seat and let's dive into the world of Support Your Local Sheriff. Support Your Local Sheriff is like a breath of fresh air in the world of Westerns. Released back in 1969, this film takes the Western genre and adds a healthy dose of humor. It's the story of Jason McCullough, a charming drifter played by James Garner, who unexpectedly finds himself as the sheriff of the unruly town of Callender. As McCullough tries to bring some order to this wild town, he encounters all sorts of quirky characters, including the spirited Fruity Perkins, the bumbling Mayor Perkins, the gruff old man Danby, and the mischievous Danby brothers. McCullough, the quick-witted and laid-back hero, arrives in the bustling town of Calendar during a gold rush. In this rowdy town, there's no sheriff in sight, and lawlessness reigns. McCullough's initial plan is just to mine a little gold and move on to Australia. But... When he sees the spiraling prices of the town, he realizes that he's going to need a job. So, as luck may have it, they're looking for a sheriff. Through an act of gunplay, he ends up with that job. And his first act as sheriff is to arrest Joe Danby, one of the Danby brothers, for murder. Joe's family is a notorious bunch of troublemakers, and this decision does not sit well with them. McCullough also makes the acquaintance of Prudy Perkins, who eventually takes a liking to him as time goes on. He also meets the Ma- Mayor Perkins, the father of Prudy. McCullough faces various challenges, including dealing with these unruly Danby brothers, who are determined to break Joe out of jail. He manages to keep the peace in the town, even when things get rough. His unconventional and clever ways of law enforcement often lead to humorous situations. As the story unfolds, McCullough's laid-back demeanor, quick thinking, and genuine care for the town win over the hearts of the citizens of Calendar. He may not be the tough and stoic sheriff people expect, but his unique approach to law and order brings a sense of community to the wild town. So that's your plot in a nutshell. As you can see, Support Your Local Sheriff combines the Wild West with humor creating a unique and enjoyable cinematic experience. Next, let's dive into the aesthetics of this classic Western comedy. Let's mosey on over to the visual aspects of the film. Support Your Local Sheriff may not be your typical grand sweeping Western epic, but it certainly doesn't skimp on capturing the essence of the Wild West. This film's aesthetics, from the dusty streets to the open plains, give us a genuine and vibrant frontier setting that's a joy to behold. The cinematography in the film is handled by Harry Stradling Jr., and he does a fine job of making the town of Calendar and its surroundings feel like a place right out of the Old West. The visuals bring out the small-town charm with dusty streets, saloons, and wide-open landscapes. The simplicity of the setting is part of what makes the film so endearing. It's not about grandiose landscapes, but about capturing the essence of a quirky frontier town. While Support Your Local Sheriff may not boast the same scale as some of legendary westerns, it's not about grandeur. It's about authenticity and charm. It's like finding an old photograph of a time gone by, and the cinematography helps to create that warm and inviting atmosphere. Even though the film is a comedy, it doesn't shy away from embracing the iconic elements of the Wild West. From the saloon brawls to the wooden sidewalks, it's all here, and it adds to the film's visual richness. So when it comes to aesthetics, the film may not be a sweeping epic, but it successfully captures the small-town charm and the authentic frontier feel, making it a visual treat for fans of the Wild West. (music) 
Now, when it comes to westerns, many folks expect a grand and memorable musical score that can transport them to the rugged frontier. Support Your Local Sheriff takes a different approach. It doesn't offer a sweeping orchestral score. Instead, it makes clever use of music to complement its comedic tone. The film's score, composed by Jeff Alexander, relies on a lighthearted and playful theme that fits the comedic nature of the story. The music has a western twang with acoustic guitar and whistling, creating a cheerful and toe-tapping atmosphere. The use of music in the film is subtle but effective. It punctuates comedic moments, adds a touch of whimsy, and enhances the film's humorous situations. You'll find yourself humming along with the catchy tunes as you follow the misadventures of the sheriff. As I said, it's not an epic, but the film does use its music to serve the film's comedic goals. The score provides a delightful backdrop that adds to the film's overall charm and enjoyment. At first glance, Support Your Local Sheriff might seem like a straightforward comedy just set in the Wild West. And while it certainly is that, it is also weaving in some interesting themes that add depth to the film. One of the ideas of central themes of this film is that idea of personal transformation. We see this most clearly through James Garner's character, Jason McCullough. When he first arrives in town, he's just a drifter passing through, wanting to make his riches by striking some gold. However, as he takes on the role of sheriff and faces various challenges, we witness his transformation into a figure of authority and leadership. This theme emphasizes that sometimes even those who don't seek power can find themselves in positions of responsibility and make a positive impact. Another theme that emerges is the power of community. The town of Calendar is a quirky and chaotic place, but it's a community nonetheless. McCullough's arrival and his ability to restore order highlight how a community can come together to address its issues, even in the face of wild situations. This theme underscores the idea that unity and cooperation can overcome adversity. The film also touches on the concept of challenging social norms. Prudy Perkins, played by Joan Hackett, divides the traditional gender roles of her time. She's a strong, independent woman who refuses to conform to the expectations placed on her. She challenges the stereotypes of women in the Old West, showing that individuals can break free from social constraints. And finally, there's the underlying theme of justice. McCullough's unconventional approach to law enforcement, which includes avoiding violence whenever possible, showcases the idea that justice can be achieved through clever problem-solving and peaceful means. This theme challenges the typical Western trope of solving problems with shootouts and violence. So while Support Your Local Sheriff may have you rolling in the aisles with laughter, it also delivers these thought-provoking thematic elements that give the film depth and make it more than just your average comedy. So let's take a look at the talents behind this comedy. It's not just the actors who make a film shine, but the entire posse of cast and crew. So let's tip our hats and take a look at the folks who brought this film to life. First and foremost, you've got this charming James Garner as Jason McCullough, our main character and the unexpected Sheriff of Calendar. Garner, known for his roles in both film and television, brings a dash of charisma to the role. His portrayal of McCullough is like a smooth tumbleweed rolling through the Wild West. With his wit and charm, Garner's performance is a key ingredient to the film's success. Playing opposite him, we have the spirited Joan Hackett as Prudy Perkins. Hackett, with her feisty and independent portrayal of Prudy, adds a touch of spice to the film. She's like a breath of fresh prairie air in the Old West. 
Hackett's chemistry with Garner is a sight to behold, making the romantic side of the film as delightful as a starry night. Now Harry Morgan takes on the role of Mayor Perkins, adding a dose of fatherly charm to the calendar. Morgan's portrayal is like a warm campfire on a chilly evening. He's a familiar face in the world of film and television, known for his versatility as an actor. And in this film, he brings a wholesome presence to the town of Calendar. Walter Brennan, a veteran actor with a career spanning decades, steps into the gruff yet endearing shoes of old man Danby. His performance is like a comforting slice of apple pie. Brennan's character may seem grumpy, but he adds a layer of authenticity to the film, making the frontier feel even more genuine. Then you have the mischievous Bruce Dern as Joe Danby, the toughest of the Danby brothers. Dern, known for his versatile acting style, brings a dash of zaniness to the film. His banter with James Garner's McCullough is like a game of poker, full of surprises and chuckles. Dern's performance adds an extra kick to the movie. Last but not least, Jack Elam takes on the role of Jake, the eccentric town person. Elam's distinctive appearance and style make his character a memorable one. His scenes with the other folks in Calendar, especially with James Garner's McCullough, are like a wild hoedown, adding a layer of kookiness to the film. And wrangling this whole rowdy bunch of actors is director Burt Kennedy. Kennedy's steady hand on the reins guides the film down the dusty trail of humor and heart. He knows the Western landscape like the back of his hand and, and blends the classic with the comical, creating a unique and rollicking cinematic experience. Now, let's not forget the talented crew who make the film come to life, from the cinematographers capturing the Wild West scenery to the costume designers who brought that frontier fashion to the screen. They all played a pivotal role in creating the film's authentic atmosphere. So there you have it, the fantastic cast and crew who turned the film into the Western comedy that we know and love. Each one added their own special spice to the film, making it a hearty stew of laughter and heart. Next up, let's take a look at what didn't quite hit the mark and support your local sheriff. This film is undeniably a fun and entertaining ride, but like any movie, it's got a few aspects that didn't quite hit the bullseye. So let's chat a little bit about what fell short. One of the film's minor drawbacks is its predictability. You see, the plot follows a pretty standard Western comedy formula, the unconventional sheriff, the quirky town, the gang of troublemakers. While this formula serves up plenty of humor, it doesn't offer many surprises for those familiar with Western comedies. Don't get me wrong, the predictability isn't a deal breaker because the film still delivers loads of laughs. However, if you're hoping for a Western comedy that breaks the mold and goes in unexpected directions, this film might leave you yearning for a twist as surprising as a snake in your boot. Another minor hiccup in this adventure is the limited exploration of certain characters. Some of the folks in Calendar are as colorful as a neon sign in the desert, but the film doesn't dig too deep into their backstories or character development. It's like riding a spirited horse that could go the distance, but the ride ends a bit too soon. While the main characters like McCullough and Prudy get plenty of screen time and development, some of the supporting characters are left on the sidelines. It would have been fascinating to learn more about these quirky townsfolk, but the film doesn't provide much of a chance to do so. Support Your Local Sheriff is as enjoyable as a lively party, but it's not without some minor hiccups. The predictability, the limited exploration of characters are just little speed bumps in the road. They don't derail the overall enjoyment of the comedy, but they deserve to be mentioned. Mm -hmm. 
So let's take a look at a little bit of trivia about Support Your Local Sheriff. It's always fun to uncover those hidden gems and quirky facts that add depth to the movie watching experience. So a first nugget of trivia that might tickle your funny bone. James Garner's character, Jason McCullough, is known for his clever and unorthodox law enforcement methods. Well, it turns out that Garner's real-life father was a real sheriff. I bet he picked up a few pointers on policing from his dad. It's always intriguing to see those real-life connections seep into a film's character. Now, remember the character Joe Danby, played by Bruce Dern, goes one of the rascally Danby brothers causing all sorts of trouble in town. Well, it's not the first time Bruce Dern played a character with the last name Danby in a Western. He portrayed the character long-haired Danby in the film Hang Em High just one year earlier. Seems like he was keeping it in the Danby family, even if they are a bunch of scoundrels. Now for a little bit of a nostalgic piece of trivia. Walter Brennan, who plays the father, old man Danby, starred alongside John Wayne in several Westerns during his career. He even won three Academy Awards for Best Supporting Actor. His presence in Support Your Local Sheriff is like a nod to the classic westerns he was a part of. And last, but definitely not least, did you know that Support Your Local Sheriff was released just about a year prior to another western comedy, Support Your Local Gunfighter, which also starred James Garner? It's like a double serving of Garner's western humor in just about a year. These two films share a similar vibe and even the word support in their titles, making them a dynamic duo for fans of the genre. So it's always fun, like I say, to have a few tidbits to sprinkle some extra seasoning on your viewing of a film. Movie trivia is like a spice that enhances the cinematic experience, makes it just a little bit more enjoyable. All right. Well, there's another episode gone. We've had a fantastic time exploring the Wild West in the Support Your Local Sheriff, a movie that brings together humor, charm, and a whole lot of that classic frontier spirit. We've looked at the entire plot, dug into the film's style that blends classic Western elements with clever comedy, discussed the catchy score that sets the right mood, and explored the movie's themes that give it a little bit of a twist. We've also given a shout out to the cast, the crew, and all those who added their unique flavor to the film. We didn't hold back from talking about some of the weak points here, because just like in the real Wild West, no movie is perfect. I've had a blast sharing some trivia that will make you the savviest movie buff at your next movie night. And while the Support Your Local Sheriff might not be a perfect 10, it is still a solid 7 out of 10 in my book. And I definitely think it's worth your time. And don't forget, you can always reach out to us with your thoughts, questions, and suggestions at therealrealtalk at gmail.com. If you want to stay in the loop about our latest episodes and other fun, give us a follow on Twitter at the Real Real Talk Pod and Instagram at Real Real Talk. Next time, we'll be hitting the road and dealing with all the ups and downs of travel in the classic film Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. So get ready for the journey. Until then, keep watching, keep loving, and keep those reels rolling.